the third page. What's left or what we spent? No, I don't. That was, uh, you know what? I, I'm missing a column. Four, two, three, four. We should have. So, I mean, I would say budget, and then was it actual expended? I, it's not actual expended. That's, that is what we approved in the budget. We approved 29, and that is current year expenditure, so I have to change the title on this. What's, what's the column that says budget? What is that? 48779? That was last year. That's what we budgeted in 2016, right? Well, you know what? I asked Anna to help me change the titles of this, and she explained the title numbers. I'm going to have to change them. The budget for 2016, I think, is 2015. If you look at I mean, I didn't print these off. I probably should have. That is current year. Current. This one is expenditures period. for the yep. period. Yep. And then current then year expenditures. So this is what we budgeted to 2016. So this is actually 2015. So these have. Oh, so these are off by a column. They are. So it's one, two, three, three, four, five, six. I'm going to have these on. Yes, I apologize. So basically, these are. Yeah. The actual is for 2016 is actually this current budget, just the budget. The 48779. No, the 29. The 29867. Yeah, I don't think we need. Nope. Yeah. Look right there. That's the one, the big hit that we took with. Uh, yeah, so the 48769. I think it budgeted. Now that's the expenditures is 29. Right. Then the balance, that's the same number. Right? Yeah, you get the same number. The same number. number here. Oh, oh yeah, well, yeah, it's current year. Period, so. right. Mm -hmm. so this the is balance remaining balance is, is 18. 18, 9, 11. Gotcha. So, so that's actually expenditures. I, I'm missing the missing with remaining. The is that right. what I need? Yeah, the, missing balance? the balance. A balance remaining? Yeah. So this is expenditures. Yeah, you're missing the balance for me. I think that's what so I mean. So this is what the budget and this is what we've paid out so far. Yeah. And the right. difference would be the, the balance. So this is 18, 9, 11. So I have to add another column here. Yeah. So take away. Yep. Budgeted. These two are the same because that's basically in essence the same thing. But current year expenditures and that's the balance remaining. <coughs> so much so that's what we actually have works. remaining in the... Uh, well, hey. You know, I need a balance hmm. remaining column. Yeah. I wonder if that's called percentage. So that makes sense now once you're yeah. talking about the score. <laughs> yes. Yeah, the math wasn't adding up. Right. No, we're going to take What? That's an actual, what that's was budgeted. Brand. I'll, I'll print up a, a clean copy. There's going to be oh. another column I can pick up here. So you're going to just write a check to cover this? Okay. No, but what I was getting at is uh, maybe I should give you well, a copy of this one. Can I make a suggestion? Yeah. I know you have it in portrait, but I mean, if you need more columns, just turn. You know, yeah. like okay. Kind of make it yeah, easier to go yeah. landscape. Yeah. Landscape. Yeah. Um, I export it, and then I can do that. If you can, I don't know. I can. I have to export it first. This is a PDF, but if I export it, I export it into Excel, yeah. mm -hmm. and then yeah. that's where we used your yep. template. Do you want to incorporate? Continue working with that sheet. That was pretty detailed. Yeah. yeah. You can if you like. I mean, I'll be happy to help you out. Start typing the numbers on or whatever. If you can show.
show me how you, I know that you have some things populated. Formulas, yeah, yeah, I'll be happy to work with you on that. Okay. I mean, we have plenty of time because it's. Yep. I mean, this is what uh, beginning of November, so we still have two months worth of expenditures. So, it's the numbers are going to change considerably between now and then. But going ahead is a spreadsheet that basically compares the previous years and the stuff, and then also percentage. Right. And then shows you what's the the, uh, the, the current balance yep. is. Well, this will allow, do that as well, but what yours allowed us to do is to show spikes of yeah. excess expenditures okay. Okay. that would... Put in percentages, right. too, so you can see it's like, also, if you pull the crap, 35%, what happened? Yeah, you know, yeah. Like, yeah, and then maybe have an answer for it. Okay. And we'll see that with uh, mm -hmm. a couple of our um, medical lines, because yeah. we were at yeah. a six-month... Well, I'm thinking town buildings, government, you know, Town building maintenance improvements probably have a spike. <laughs> yep, for next year, yep. Hopefully yeah. it does. No, no, I mean, that's it, it'll show up in that spreadsheet. Mm. So. Oh, for overexpenditures? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Mm. So I will revise these, I apologize. No, no problem. Um, it's still early in the season. Yeah, the revenues are going to be pretty cut and dry. I know, hope to see some higher numbers for our revenues. We've got a really busy year with um, the building department, current use tax. Um, and and the land use check. Yeah, yep, use that already. Yep, and next year is going to be even higher. And that's just our portion. Mm -hmm. The account that hits the conservation is a different liability account. Yep. So this is everything we collected for our fund. We budgeted 997 and we're at 841 right now. Right, but um, one that is not in here yet because it hasn't hit the bank is the uh, rooms and meals. You can add a hundred and I think we had set the taxes at 132 there, more or less. Mm. With the tax rate we had, and then the highway block grant was up about seven or eight thousand dollars, and I think it was the flood control was down like three hundred dollars. So there's a little bit of adjustments there that will you'll notice a, a difference. But that's mm -hmm. about what we based our tax rate set on. So that we have to add 132 right off the top. Well, that's not included in there. Either. No, it's no. not, because it doesn't hit the bank until December. So um, I think it's at 193. Just that increase, <coughs> and then there's one more. We have uh, November, December for both taxes mm -hmm. and um, vehicle registration. I got a question for you. Yeah. Um, charges for services. Cornerstone Cemetery is blank across the board. Mm -hmm. But yet we've taken, and if it's our cemetery budget, we're already almost double, well not quite double, but you know, at least 50% higher than what we mm -hmm. budgeted for. For the sales that? this year. Mm -hmm. Is this where we use that, you know, budget? Oh, it's on the last page. Miscellaneous revenues. $930. Oh, yeah, we have that there. Miscellaneous revenues is fourteen forty-two. Yeah, it's the very first item, sale of cornerstone. Oh, sale of cornerstone. I wonder why we have that in there twice. I guess we can, um... You consolidate that. Yeah. Yeah. I'll have to look at the... the four-digit code, see which one is the correct one. That one's 3501 and this one's 3401. And there are codes well, associated. I think the, the trustees, when we met, we're, we're, the issue we're having is you know, truly wrapping around. I mean, we understand it's in our budget because we get a raise and appropriate. Mm -hmm. But if it, when it's in our budget and we actually overspend that item, mm -hmm. we're not getting the money back into our budget. And it's actually reducing our budget by whatever the amount might yeah, be. Right. So if we had money I'm already earmarked, I mean, it's just... Yeah, unfortunately, it, there's a few departments that are like that. The planning board, for example, mm -hmm. the um, engineering consultant, we only budget a slim $1,000. And if right. we have to do... Um, the, the, the what, in the past, we would draw down, we would 
net the expenditure with the revenue, and we got a no-no from the auditor. They recognize that the revenue is being collected on the one side and you're spending, and like you said, if you overspend, mm -hmm. you're but spending. We can, but we can't overspend our budget. Say we had the money already, year, everything earmarked, and you know, it was a tight budget year. Mm -hmm. you know, all of a sudden, we can't pay out some of our bills that we already have you know, obligated ourselves for because they go with, because the cornerstones, you know, then then we bought then, a lot of them. Then you go see the selectmen and ask them for more money. Yeah, the picture bottom, bottom line, <laughs> we're responsible for Then I got to talk about the picture. Yeah, they, yeah, they never approved that. No way. <laughs> no, there are, uh, in the past, mm -hmm. when I first started, that's exactly how they did things. They um, netted down the mm -hmm. expense. So if you had spent $1,000 and you collected 900 mm -hmm. you applied the 900 to the expense account which was a no-no. You have to track the revenue income on one side, which offsets the expense, which is, um, in, in the case of the planning board, they've now changed the engineering review mm -hmm. from the argument last night about the $23,000. It's in a liability account. Mm -hmm. So it's no longer, it's just, it's like a pass-through account. It's right. no longer well, like spending so down do 23000 of the planning mm -hmm. board's budget, which we don't right. have, mm -hmm. and then collecting it on the other side because bottom line, that affects those yes. numbers. So maybe, we do so maybe we can ask the auditor that. Yeah, yeah. Should we make instead? a liability? Yeah, instead. Mm -hmm. Do that with all, you know, all those accounts. So otherwise, mm -hmm. I mean, it's just it's negatively affecting. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Even though it's being offset by right. the revenue. Because if revenue, you, but it's oh yeah, not I, coming back into the budget. Correct. And mm -hmm. the very first year that I worked with this program, there are actually accounts above here and below that don't come into total mm -hmm. bottom line of really? the, the budget. And I almost had a heart attack when I saw that yeah, it was spent. That. Yeah, it's just the that. system is created, has you know capital improvements and other accounts. And if you don't take just the, the accounts that you need specific to this budget warrant, yeah. then it could look like you've overspent your account, your budget. Mm -hmm. yeah. but, but in some cases where you have a big year, like you said, there are times where you overspend your lines and if you go to your cemetery, oh, this is a horrible report. I gotta get you another I'm sorry. Yeah, see here you overspent five hundred dollars yeah. on your cornerstones, five fifty. Yeah, it's fifty percent of our you know what we are budgeted in so yep. I think we get you know, we have another four set another set of yeah. Yeah, those haven't been We've been paid for them, but okay. I have an order. All right, I guess that'll be so I've got to order those <coughs> this week, and right. you know it'll take six weeks before we see the bill. But right. we will see it this year. I think. Well, I I would that would be a very good question to ask the auditor. Okay, ask my question. That's what we're here. But I'll give you this type of report rather than the mm -hmm. uh, worksheet, budget worksheet, so then you can see the true expenditures if you're at a overspent by 550 on that particular line, which brings you down to 51% yeah. remaining because you're spending, overspending yeah. too much. Yeah, because yeah, that one's going to go up by another 310. Okay. Any other questions? We're all good. No? Okay. So, good. We visit us next week, I guess. Yeah. All right, next is charge your and schedule department meeting. because of the election. Mm -hmm. okay. That's on the 10th, is our meeting. Election yeah, I know. Well, I know the 8th, the 9th, 10th. I'm not following you. No, I'm just saying that week is shot. Oh, yeah, it's shot. Yeah, yeah. Time. When you get that day off, yeah, so yeah, day off. Well, for some people. I do that day. You work for a government I get tomorrow. Defense contractor. <laughs> I'll tell you what. <laughs> I have to wear a red shirt that day. A red shirt. Yeah. yeah. Do we want to just uh, give the department a couple of weeks and 
give yourselves a little bit more time to, I'll have that CPI mm -hmm. next week. Um, and I'm assuming we have her um, town meetings on the 14th of March. thoughts on how we want to approach the budget this year? Yeah, we'll change our strategy. Kind of like or a or I think it's kind of worked out pretty nice. Yeah. You know what we've been doing, right? Mm, no. Okay. Um, <laughs> try to explain. <coughs> Ted and Ron and I were on the board here. Um, it brought forth the idea of instead of doing a level funded budget or one that we just let everybody go and run wild and services that they perform now in the departments, they continue doing for next year, 
with the knowing that prices are going to go up. So obviously, you know, if they got a contract for X, Y, Z, you know, like or say like radio service, with the police department mm -hmm. or the fire department, you know, this year it's a thousand dollars, which is pretty easy money. And next year it's going to be fifteen hundred dollars because we know that's going to happen. It's going to go up. Instead of trying to cut down the ser the amount of services or leave them level services and, and not uh, reduce something else, like personnel or something like that. You know, the anticipated increases for that level services is... Right, in, uh, in other words, if we use the same exact services right. they were having the year before right. Right. at mm -hmm. the current cost. Right. Or what the new cost will be. Yeah. 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 And that way, um, you know, so we know there'll be incremental increases in the budget, but it won't be due to, you know, saying, throwing in, oh, we're going to throw in the police cruiser in the budget and this and that. Mm -hmm. And then anything else that we want above and beyond goes into the warrants and let the people decide on their own. Now, they can debate it at nauseam if they want, but if push comes to show, it's up to them if they want to raise their taxes. Right. You know, we're not sitting here raising their taxes on them and, and trying to, you know, convince them. So yeah. that's been the uh, strategy for the last couple of years. I mean, in the past, I've seen uh, caps, but then the cap was argued that um, if you have a big budget, your percentage is more money than a smaller budget, and that didn't make sense. Um, and then they have seen budgets where they threw every wish list that they wanted in there, and, and then years where they said flat budget, but that's not allowing the department to have a level services budget, and it really makes it difficult for them to continue right. to I think last year you guys did a really good job with that level of services yeah. budget. I mean, people seem to have been resonating with it because I mean, they you know they seem to like the services they have. Mm -hmm. I mean, I haven't heard the feedback otherwise. So mm -hmm. you know, do yeah. a horrible job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. and, and hopefully, in, as years go on, yeah. as we get a little bit busier, we're also increasing our revenue side because. Mm -hmm. We have more building, more new homes, um, subdivisions of lots, with more value of land, separate land That's lots there. So hard as last year, so we lost that ten half million dollars in valuation. Yeah. Right, right. right. <coughs> so, I mean, between the revaluation, losing that valuation, I mean, it just—it was, it was just the perfect storm of getting screwed. <laughs> However. We still have to look at mm -hmm. having some kind of an adequate mm -hmm. funding for the community mm -hmm. if something should happen, which right now we're realizing mm -hmm. that there's a discrepancy mm -hmm. there. Oh, yeah. So we're going to try to address any of that. Right. Like the building maintenance, for example, you were just referring to, right? The rainy day fund is still done. Day fund is done. Right. Right. Correct. Yeah. Well, in the past, when we've had a surplus the last few years, we've taken that surplus and applied it towards the operation budget, so that way every warrant article stood on its own far as up or right. down on the taxes. It was We weren't sitting here playing politics with it, saying, well, I like Jeff's truck better than I like the fire department's truck, so we're going to put the surplus towards that. And make Jeff lets me drive his truck. Yeah. Well, my, my point <laughs> being that, you know, we're supposed to a recommendation by DRA that we mm -hmm. have a certain reserve, exactly. mm -hmm. and we don't have much of a reserve right Correct. now. Yep. So my, my question is, are we going to try to address that in some kind of steps to get somewhere where we have a, a reserve? If we don't take any of the, um, the unassigned fund balance, i.e. surplus, and put it towards like we've done in the past, then that, that will and stay there and that will help build that rainy day fund. Oh, yeah. and typically what happens too, Bob, is if we set our revenues at a very conservative income, mm -hmm. what we're projecting, and our, for example, this year's current use land tax is 20000 over our budgeted number of $10,000. That means if we do nothing with that extra revenue, it will the 20000 will increase our surplus of the revenue. So bottom line, we meet our bottom line. Let's say we come in at $30,000 more on the revenue, but we do nothing with it. Um, there's two pieces. There's the, um, the balance that's remaining on your expense side. Let's say we have $75,000 from the budget, and then we have 
$25,000 extra on the revenue, then the combined you have $100,000. And this past year, they chose to take that extra revenue that was remaining and apply it to the new budget. So it appears that we were flat budgeted, but right. it was because we're using the funds, the lapsing surplus that could have increased our uh, unassigned fund balance to a higher, closer to the 5% range, which is where we should be at. So if we do nothing with, um, we just let 75,000 lapse to the fund surplus. Now we have the 152 that the auditors pointed out, plus the 75, so now we're over 200. Mm -hmm. So then we'll continue to get higher. That's how you, you, you budget conservatively on your revenue, you gain extra revenue, you let that lapse to right. surplus. You don't use it to. Um, uh, as long as we're addressing that mm -hmm. as we go along. Yep, yep. Yep. You're doing that mm -hmm. through Anticipated right. revenue. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, like when we get towards uh, in January time frame, we'll actually she does a nice spreadsheet and it lays it all out there, and we'll have that. We'll actually see the number of where we're at as and all the lapses and all the money, and, and that then it's up to us to decide whether okay we're going to apply so much of this towards the, the budget or not, and as yeah. the board, you know, yeah. that will be the board's decision at that point in time, and, and that will be the debate then. But I mean. that level services budget to the departments, um, basically if they had um, a need or a want for a certain area and within their budget, budget, they had to present it to the board and justify why they were right. increasing that. Right. So it's all about the board, it's everybody talking to everyone and trying not to excessively add the, their budget, their department. Right. Budget. Any department. major investment. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, like last year we had a lot of discussion with the police chief because he was dealing with the radio issues and, and, mm -hmm. and, and we looked at uh, prior year asking about looking at different things and we went with a different vendor. Uh, you got them instead of home and it was cheaper. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. the initial yeah. investment though really wasn't a whole lot cheaper, but now this year coming in it, it, we should see de right. the dividends of that decision. Yeah. So um, so that's the that's the whole give and take that we hope to have with the departments, you know, because we don't know what they need and they, they do, and hopefully you know we can make it work. Anyway, that's the the previous um, theory behind everything and our strategy. So again, the discussion is open to you guys. What you think? Well, I think we no. should. Uh, I, I, you know, I don't have a problem with level funding providing the same service. And I know it's gonna be an increased cost, mm -hmm. possibly. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know, looking at it from that approach, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, if, if you tie everybody's hands too tight, then it, there's a lot of bitterness and mm -hmm. then discouragement. You know, they're all working hard, you know, to do the best they can with what they have, so. Uh, last year, I believe you sent out a memo on our behalf for that. Yep. You want to? Yep. Is that right here? Resurrect. Is that memo to departments? And so, uh, the, the by consensus, it sounds like we're here in level services. Yeah, level again. services. And again, with the same thing, you'll justify any large increases in this now. So, then we'll waste it on you because you already heard it all. <laughs> CPI here shortly, so yeah. you know what we're looking at for that. Then we've got a, a direction that we're going now. Unless there's nothing major we can do right now, other than that, right? No. Well then, let's move on then. Everybody's good. Alrighty. Um, go through the 
walk real quick fast in a hurry. We have a letter for uh, Mr. Stanley and Miss Alita Sopa for regarding their gift to the folks. And then we also have one for Mr. Angel and Ms. Donna Dunn. Same thing for, their, for the Energy Committee. Yep. Thank you, Wayne, for the technical support. Yep. Appreciate that. Yep. I think they use it as a tax write off, so. Yeah. Makes sense. But also, we thank you. Yep. Yeah. We do appreciate that. And things like that would be nice to be recognized in a town report, too. Mm -hmm. And a selectman's yep. report. Oh, yeah, we can Send us an email regarding the uh, Boy Scouts have asked to go food drive again this year. Uh, I want to do it on Saturday, November 12th at the Council Station at 8. Um, we mentioned some of putting it on the sign in the center and on the website. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I don't have a problem either. I don't. It's yeah. helpful. Yeah. yeah. Oh, absolutely. Well, so. They work with the food pantry and uh, community. Yeah. So, no, I'm good with it. Uh, we've done it. For them on that every year, so, so I think that's a great thing. Um, <coughs> I sent a quick reminder. I got this um, in, an, in a, another email. I just cut and pasted it here. Mm -hmm. uh, in case anybody's not aware or interested, um, there was a President Obama signed an executive order increasing the overtime figure for people that are working on salary from 23,660 a year to 47,476. Mm -hmm. uh, so I know it's going to affect us on the state side on certain things. <coughs> but um, this thing here, just as a reminder to bring up, I checked with Lynn and I think she, her salary is the only one that falls under that category and she's above it. So we're dodged a bullet on that wow. in that respect. Dang. Could we do so? Big time overtime, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get an extra special <laughs> Yeah. So it doesn't mean we can't take and uh, <coughs> remember her on you know, all the extra work she's put in, but I just want to make sure we didn't get behind the eight ball on that. So I don't know if you want to save that or not. Yeah, I can put it in the. Yeah. Um, it's coming to labor for We have the uh, Primex has cut us a check for the uh, repairs of the vehicle, the police cruiser. Amen. Um, Why did they get fired from us? <laughs> Basically, it came up to $3,014.56. They cut us a check for $2,000 because it's less side deductible. And I mean, it's reminding me that uh, we're gonna, the, it's up to them to go after the other insurance company for that $500 deductible. So hopefully, we'll eventually see that $1,000. So, that being the case, What's the rule of the, I mean, I haven't heard, I want to wait for the police chief and on it, but I don't know if they want to fix, while they're fixing it, so it's going to be. I, I would take that vehicle out of service this Next year. Next year. Yeah. Next year's the plan. Next calendar. I yeah. thought it was this year. That the, that the, um, yeah, I thought so too. The cruiser, the yeah. Warren article replaces that vehicle. Yeah, that vehicle? Yeah, that's yeah. right. That's I think yeah. you might, might want to check with the chief, but I'm 99% yes. sure. Yeah. That's yeah. right. That's right. Yeah. Uh, they've already got yeah. the vehicle. It's being fitted up. Yeah. 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 So, uh, yeah, that being the case, I mean, you know, we'll check with them. Because isn't that vehicle also losing transmission fluid or something? No, it's his event. Is that the other one? Mm -hmm. uh, I can't keep it's um. good. So, um, but yeah, we probably, you know, if we get the chance to. So, but I mean, that's the case if it is getting, um, and that one that's on the, the Auction block, so to speak. Um, I think it is. Do we really want to bother fixing it or no. just ship it as is and keep it? I think one? that's what he was saying. He was going to mm. sell it. Yeah, know. that yeah. is. A, mm -hmm. yeah. um, that being the case, uh, do we have to take and accept this? In the, um, I sent the DRA a question about that because yeah. I, I don't think it's unanticipated. It's 
I don't think it was either, but I mean, I wasn't sure. Yeah. 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 The accident was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we, yeah. well, we'd have to, but we'd have to put this in a warrant article to put it in the, um, the capital reserve fund for the. Towards the police special duty, yeah. yeah. If if we wanted to do, if you yeah. guys decided to do that, or you could lend laps to um, the unassigned fund yeah, surplus so that you'll have an increase in your balance. Oh yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah, you, you can do either, but I mean, you know. We can debate that at least on. Anyway, FYI. This past year's uh, Warren article did deplete the special duty fund mm -hmm. down to like $600. So they are working mm -hmm. their way back up with the. Uh, so why would you put this in the special duty fund instead? That's the capital reserve fund. It's the. the uh, oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Oh, it is. So, okay. <coughs> so. Or it can go in the general fund. My gut feeling right off the top of that, and just my opinion, is that. I would put it in the special duty fund because it's, it's four police crews that got banged up that they're just going towards that same purpose. Yeah. Yeah. That's just me. But if you guys want to do it otherwise, so be it. And NHMA annual meeting is on the 17th of November at 2.45 p.m. at the Radisson Hotel Center in Hampshire. Um, basically, you've got a, the agenda right here if you're interested in going. Uh, none of us are on the... Uh, for a director nominee, so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, Bob was hoping to get on it. You guys want to go? it's okay. I got enough for you. Sure. I don't think any of us are going to be going. So. All right, that's the mailbox. Uh, you got anything for the. Yep, I do. The group? Just an update on the library. Uh, SCORE Construction's been working on at the library for most of this week. Um, they reported that they would be done before the slate roof construction began. Uh, slate roof construction is scheduled for to begin next Friday, November 11th. You will see the slate delivered and possibly some demo or whatever it is they'll need to do to get the building ready. And we need to do anything about marking out that area out there for, um, you know, because they're starting to peel that roof off. That's up to the vendor to do that. I don't it? think so. They we don't they contract. Put, yeah. Walk it off. I, I'm sh I guess I could ask him <coughs> if he's going to need that. Then you would have maybe some construction, you know, the orange fences that we've used in the past. They and I would assume that they're going to do it. <laughs> they usually do that. Do they do that? Yeah, I would think so. Okay, it's their liability. Yeah. 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 I guess it's I could ask him to make sure he's going to do that. Yeah. I'm sure he gets hurt. And I mean, if depending on what they're doing, like over the entrance way and stuff, you either do it when the library's closed or put yeah, some type of protection scaffold in way off or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. usually block that yeah. off too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you don't want somebody to want it. So that's good. That'd be great. Get them done. Get the roof done. Yeah. Another town report. Plus. So, oh my gosh. So I know you, uh, you know, you kind of mentioned one time about the engineer going up. Yeah. I think the single, because it's not a complicated job yeah. they're doing, yeah. having the engineer come in to the end of the job right. to look at it, mm -hmm. and that way if he sees something, he can point it out. Yeah. Do we want to... Uh, you know, and that might be, but rather than having them come twice, right. one to see it in the middle of construction yeah. or part way through. Yeah. Because there is a three-step the payment. There's a, the next phase, and then there's the $5,000 balance. And that we, at the addendum, we agreed to pay it after it was approved sure. by the uh, right. so schedule yeah, number one. Yeah. yeah, if he's good with that, we're good with that. I mean, again, I asked ask John if he, well, once they get started there, you know, John's supposed to just take a peek at it as a building inspector. Yep, yep, I, I remind you. Well, like John's going to take a look to make sure that the materials are what we've contracted for yeah, also. Yeah. I hope so. Yeah, I think The hardware and all that. Cool, that'd be great. Get that done and over with. That'd be nice. Yes. Um, yeah, we'd only get that bridge done. Mm. Uh, help us. <laughs> Shalam. I just helped an old Bob I'm here. used to it. <laughs> hey, join the club because we get it all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, health Trust is scheduled for next Thursday. They'll be here uh, to talk to the board about. Are they going to send any um, materials ahead? Yeah, they're rate? supposed to, yeah. So that's what, 7 November? No. 10. 10. 10 November. I don't okay. know if there's any electronic or not, but it's 
I'm sure they can. Sell you hard copies for the song so we can put them on. At least. Yeah. At least me, anyway. Mm -hmm. You want a hard copy, you said? Um. Um, if they bring a hard copy, it's fine, but they can send electronic. And yeah, they usually send an electronic, so I yeah, can Yeah, so that'd be fine. Okay, all right. Yeah, and then um, our exit conference for the yeah. audit, 2015 audit, is scheduled for December 1st. So I guess our department meeting will probably only start December 30th or 8th, mm -hmm. that date. That's fine. Yeah. Um, we talked about vehicle payment. Um, I, as I mentioned, I think last week, um, Department of Labor requires that if you have a differential in pay yes. to the different departments that the employee works for, they have to be, have that rate of pay in writing. Yeah. So I drafted up the um, separation of the different duties and their rate of pay. The only one that uh, accepted the rate is Brad Jovel, so the other two said they would not be interested in setting up elections for that rate of pay. So we have one individual that's willing to work. He will be uh, present next Monday to set up okay. the uh, booths. Um, what time will you be there? Uh, last time we started at 3.30 because yeah. the um, they have the daycare after school mm -hmm. program and because there's so many big pieces of equipment and little toddlers, they asked us to work with that a little bit later next it worked out well last time. But Linda asked me to convey to the board that Randy Willett is hoping that someone will be there, one of the board members, to uh, direct Brad in setting that up because they're not mm -hmm. sure that he is capable of doing it entirely on his own. Uh, and then after work I can stop in and help out. And you, uh, I mean, I can push it off to 4 o'clock if that's a better time for you. Well, that would be for me because I get out at 3.30, so okay. I mean, Okay, so I can just ask them to, to um, be there. Yeah. Um, um, that being said, if you're going to be here for 4 o'clock... We need keys for that, um, that room that, has, that houses all that stuff, so I don't have a set of keys for that. I'm not sure we got it besides Rainy and possibly Red. Okay, I'll find out who has the keys and if they're going to be unlocked. Keep, where, where do they keep all the election <coughs> stuff? In that little... It's in, that in the back room? No, no, we'll 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 that's just that. tables and chairs. Yeah, well where are the booths? The booths are in the boxes that are in that same room. They're Correct, but then, oh, yeah. but then that's where I'm getting at. Um, I'm going to need a truck here to pick up these tables and then all the other um, election I'll, things I'll that she has truck, in the so. in the back room of the town clerk's office. She usually puts it out in the hallway here, mm -hmm. so it's all ready to load it up. In the past, it's been Fred Mullen had a van and was yeah. able to put all that stuff in there and get over there. Um, I'll have my truck. Rennie is probably going to show up the same time that you do, so it's mm -hmm. a little bit later. Um, I can swim by, but it won't be till 6 ish. Hopefully, we'll be done by then, my friend. Okay. Yeah. I'll swim through. So, truck Make here at 4 o'clock. I'll make it 6 30. Truck here at 4 o'clock. I'll have Brad meet you here mm -hmm. at 4 o'clock, and then you sure. head over there. Um, that works. I travel by the bus down this weekend. Oh, it's getting worse. I don't know what the heck. No, it's not even that. It's it's down before you get up to um, the White Road. Yeah, oh my God! Speaking of that, what is this slut on me? Daniel Palmer. Cool. Yeah, awesome. What is this slut on me? I don't know. I think it's a Monday. I want to say it's Monday because I've had to. Mm -hmm. We have had to sign something mm -hmm. before they move the contract yeah. for the police department. I think it was a Monday that. That and also the uh, survey. But because um, down on, what do they call it, Dumbarton Road and Gosta, uh, East Dumbarton Road and Gosstown, when Blackbrook comes together, they made it a three-way stop. So now, I mean, oh, isn't that awful? It's horrendous. I've, I've it's driven through nine. it. I've driven it through ruins. it like once, just thinking about okay, I gotta go here, I gotta go it's there. Oh, yeah. oh, and you got five T intersections <coughs> coming onto that road when, in a half a mile, five different roads, and that's the only one they make it a three-way stop. What the hell are they thinking? I mean, that's always been a through road straight. Probably to slow people down. I understand that, but I mean, all they're going to do is... heat it up and slow people down. They also made that corner you stop at, yeah. a black road, probably yeah. harder to, to get stop. around than yeah, what was there yeah. before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. A sharp, it's mm -hmm. curves and yeah. stops. It was probably like a traffic slowing down device because people, yep. like they do on any of the roads, mm -hmm. they 
they paved it. It was right. Could be more of a thoroughfare. Yeah. It's what does make, though. What doesn't make sense is they got a three-way stop sign there. Mm -hmm. You come down Pivots Hill Road, you have three roads on your right-hand side that don't have any stop no. sign at all. Mm -hmm. So when you're traveling early in the morning, People are used to, you know, I can just drive right out like I usually mm -hmm. do. Oh, yeah. And they come right Isn't out in front of you. And yep. they don't realize they're at fault because any road intersecting mm -hmm. another has yep. to yield. It's like, yep. oh, my God. Absolutely. So they don't look left. They're all on. No signs, I'm glad it's down there. Yeah. It's their problem. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually thinking of going to the selectors meeting and taking a lodge and complaining. Yeah. <laughs> it's just so irritating. Yeah. I mean, it just it is different. Yeah, it's definitely different. Different yeah. is not the word I would use, but. That works for now. All these years we've worked in just public. driving down there and just going. Yeah. You gotta rethink what you're doing. I think yeah. everybody I know that's yeah. in that area is that yeah. they drove through that intersection. It's not the only one. Yeah. Oh, that's good. I'll have to yeah. remember Monday night and go. Yeah, I'll confirm that. Well, that just irritates me. But I'll have, you know what the traffic's like on Fridays now on that road. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was by my house. Yeah, it goes by my house as well. Mm. And maybe that's why they put that stop sign tied up. It's not, all it's going to do is just irritate people. and It's not going to slow down the traffic. The traffic's still going to keep on coming through that road. Yep. It's a lot easier to go through there than just down the highway when it's backed up on 93. Yep. Yeah. Yep. 93 is highway. Uh, yep. So. All right. Sorry to interrupt, but appreciate that Monday night. So I'll have to remember that. I'll confirm it, but I think it's a Monday night. stuff and she already answered that sounds good. Yeah. Alright, that being the case, we'll open up public comment, Leo. And that's it, thank you. Okay, you got anything for public comment? No. We'll close public comments. Alright, that being the case, I'll make a motion to go into non public per RSA ninety one dash A colon three two B with Mr. Crosby as he requested. I'll second that.